Hi my little shardies, welcome and welcome back. This is Christina with Sh Art Online. Alright, today I'm going to be working on the flowers here. I'm not really sure what they are. They might be rhododendrons. I don't know, I've looked up a bunch and haven't been able to find what I think is exactly this particular flower. So if you know, drop it in the comment box down below. That said, I think I'm just going to go with um, like a pale a pale color on them so that the flower isn't taking center stage in this image. So I'm going to start with 997 beige and I'm going to pull that up where the darker areas should be on here. Again I might add like a little pink or red in this area but for now I'm going to go with this beige. Let me zoom in a little bit more and we'll just do this one flower here Think what you do when you kind of get the idea on what to do with all the rest of them. I think like what I did with the face, I'll go ahead and uh, fast forward this in between my talking. Alright, now I'm going to come back in and I think I'm going to use some of the skin tones that I used in her face. So I'm going to use Nectar 1092 and again over those dark spots that I just did, that's where I'm going to add that in. And I'm going really light handed. I'm going to blend this out with, that, with the 997 that I just used. I'm going to have it darker where the more dots are. So this is just going to highlight that area. Again, I have no idea what kind of flower this is. I may be coloring it completely wrong. And I am okay with that. Now for the darkest parts, um, where I think like at the base and stuff, I'm going to put the 1017 Clay Rose. I'm just going to do that around uh, like this area here and here and maybe a little in there. So just where the darkest part of the petals meet. Now I'm going to come back in here again with my 997 and I'm going to blend into this color a little bit, trying to smooth it out, make it more of a gradual transition. And as I get up toward the top here, I'm just going to leave that um, for what I did for that first layer, kind of on the wider side there. I may not even go into that area. I also may add just a little bit of pink. And sorry I'm talking so lightly today guys, my family is sleeping so, and I decided I wanted to shoot this video so I don't want to be loud enough where I wake them up. Alright, now I'm going to go in with some light peach. And I'm just going to use this to kind of blend that together and pull some from the darker from the top of the petal down into the beige. So I'm still leaving a little area of white. I'm just kind of shaping the petal a little bit more. This is not a very dark color so it's not super saturated. It's not going to be super easy to see just a little bit to finish it off. I don't even think I'm doing it all on all the petals. I'm just some. Especially the ones where I left like a lot of white at the top. Make sure you pull that color down into the beige. I forgot this petal. Alright, now I'm going to take Jasmine PC1012 and I'm going to lightly color in this little seed area in the middle. 
I think I'm also then going to take just a little bit of 941, which I believe is light umber. And I'm just going to, at the bottom area of the, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit more, just add a little bit of that for shadowy purposes. And then I'm going to go back in again with my 1012 Jasmine. And blend right into that. All right, everyone, I think that's what I'm going to do for the flower for now. I may come back when I do the hair and add some more color into that flower, but I kind of like it like that. It's nice and soft. Again, I don't know what kind of flower it is, so if I can find it and I need to add a little bit of color to it, I definitely will do that, but this video is running a little long. I think we're going to wrap it up right here for this time. Again, just carry on that color theme if that's what you choose to use into the other flowers here. As always, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, color happy, and remember, shh, it's our little secret.